storm passed through, I lucked out. The uh, my four stays not hooked up, which means my my back stays aren't. Uh, my rig is is not in a good position for if we got a really big blow. I, I mean, I'm just lucky it didn't hit us. But it is, but I want to have more room in the in the tent, the shed, um, and I want that bow spread up. Plus, that way I can get my booms up and then can get the sails bent on and, and have a lot more room to work. Uh, yeah, so that's what we're gonna do. I'm just wiping all the dust off of this. Yeah. If I can get it painted, if it's dry enough and not hammering rain tomorrow, maybe I can get the bow spread on. Attached with a halyard. Um, I need to bed this area here. It mounts with this mortise and tenon here. Uh, there's no bolts that hold this on. There is no bow pulpit. Uh, it only goes on with tension. So I want to bed this with dolphinite. I'm going to mix dolphinite and pine tar, and that'll keep the the dolphinite a little softer and, and act as a preservative in case there's ever, you know, water getting in here and stuff. It's gonna be a little hard to get this in there until we get tension from the whisker stays and the bob stay, but mostly the whisker stays are gonna do a lot of the work. good for now. So now we have to mount the crans iron. This guy. <laughs> Gotta go to the tip up there. What I use to mount this is butyl caulk. Not butyl tape, but butyl caulk. So everybody's got their own ways of bedding things, you know, what they want to use and, and not use. Wood to wood, anything that's wood to wood, I do dolphinite. Sometimes dolphinite and pine tar. But metal to wood, I use butyl caulk. It's hard to find. Like, I had to drive 150 miles to buy this stuff. But, uh, yeah, butyl caulk, it never hardens. It never skins. It'll stay soft and gooey for 20 years. The thing about this stuff is it is a nightmare to use because it is almost impossible to remove from anything. Um, the key to any time you use butyl caulk, there's tons of gloves. Have a box of gloves next to you because you're gonna go through a crap load of gloves. So you can see how I put this in here. I kind of made three lines. Cause it'll kind of squish it in. But now we gotta put it on the bowsprit as well. But you see this stuff's stringy. Just stringy, stringy, stringy and you can't get it off.
a squish out of the butyl call. Right? So the best thing to do with that stuff, you don't want to clean it up right away. When it's out of the sun, inside whatever you've bedded it uh, with, it doesn't ever harden, right? It stays gooey and stuff like this. But outside in the sun, with dust around and stuff, it will get a little stiffer. You know, it'll still be a little sticky, but it's way easier to clean. So I'm gonna leave it on there. I'm gonna leave it alone for maybe a week, you know, and just kind of let it stiffen up in the sun. So we got a rig of foot rope. The, uh, this bounce rig, it doesn't have a bow pulpit. There's no bow pulpit. There's no walk board up there. There are no lifelines or stanchions actually. So, we got to rig about a uh, foot rope. So that way I can uh, put the force stay on. For now, we're just going to attach it with a bowline. But eventually, before too long, I'm going to go ahead and uh, attach it with a, an ice splice. don't want it breaking when I'm out on it. Well, that's the four stay hooked up. Stay. You stay. Get it? Yuck, yuck. <laughs> now we gotta... Now we got to tension the backstays so that way it pulls everything true. If only they'll stay put. Well, that's done. Thank goodness. I, uh, I've been meaning to do that for a while. I've just been caught up with the transom and with everything, you know. Whatever. <laughs> we get a blow now. I guess. I guess I'll be a little, at least a little more prepared for it. Plus, I'll have more room in my tent. It's a lot of work. Today was hot. It was 91 degrees, but it, I don't know how. But it said it feels like of 127. I don't even know how that works. But uh, yeah. Now I can get back to real work. <laughs>